Let's see, we're gonna move on a little bit. All right, so we're still uh, in Unit 10. We're gonna talk about uh, another type of um, third dimension nouns that are different from what we've learned. Um, the, this is the hardest type, I think, um, because they look so much like uh, second declension nouns of the type logos. Mm -hmm. um, the nominator of them, the standard example is the noun genos. Do you want to write, start writing this up? So it's the noun genos, and it looks like... Okay, now are we there? Are we yeah, I didn't are we know what mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see what happens if you write. Yep. So we're, we're in the noun genos, um, and so the nominative looks like it's a logos type noun. So that's the nominative, but the genitive of it is genus, okay? Um, but o -U -S, which is definitely not like logos, logi, okay? And the other thing is the gender of these nouns, of all of these here, is neuter. Um, so this is definitely new territory. Um, and that genitive is also weird. Um, what's happening is this, and you can you can see that the book spells this out. But that form genos comes from all the except for the nominative singular and neuter and the accusative singular and neuter, which are both genos. The other forms are all built on a stem genes, G-E-N-E-S. You want to put it in quotes or afterwards from yes. So genes, okay, and when you add os to that, for example, what happens is the s disappears in between the vowels. It turns into s and z and h, and then it goes away. And then you have a contraction process, and e plus o gives you u. Okay, so this is what's making obscuring the fact that this is a third function now. Mm -hmm. um, the dative is okay. The data form in the singular is gen a, g n e i, okay. um, and the uh, accusative, of course, is as new as the same as the nominative, gen os. Um, when we look at the plural, um, I just, not, don't, don't go to it. All right, no, all right, it's okay. Oh, okay, it's okay. But let's go to the plural. You've got in the nominative plural neuter. Is gene. Now this is really disturbing, right? Put the acronym okay. there. That looks like a feminine nominative singular, but in fact it, it comes from genesa, okay? G E N E S plus an alpha, and the S disappears again um, between the vowels, and you get the contraction of the E and the A into an eta, okay? So this is this is really tricky. And then genitive plural is genon with the circumflex over the um, over the uh, all of that because it comes from Ganeson, there was an accent on the E, on the second E. So when the S disappeared, you get an uh, accent in an untone vowel contracted to give you a circumflex form. And then the dative plural is Genesi, okay, with an S that survives between the vowels. Now, those are tricky things to explain, but they, they can be explained. You can have a new movable at the end of Genesi. Um, and then um, the plural, you know, the accusative plural is the same as the non so it's Gen. So, can I? Yeah, we, we lost the link. Yeah, I'm just talking about that. Okay. Gen okay. <laughs> A. No okay. Weird. This is interesting. Okay. So, what to do with these nouns? Because um, it's one thing to look at kinship terms where the endings are the same, mm -hmm. and it's another to look at nouns like this where uh, there are re recognizable features, but they have gotten obscured by sound changes. So my my general recognition recommendation is to memorize genos, genus, gene, genos, gene, genon, genus, gene. Um, I think that's a that will stand you in good stead. This is a huge class of nouns: mm -hmm. the genos, genus, neuter noun many 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 forms of them and many many words of this type so it's worth learning the other uh, rarer part of this okay we said all of the nouns in this group are neuter but there is a very small group of personal names okay of the type socrates 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 with an accent on the alpha okay 
that are actually also S-stem nouns like the Geles type. Okay, there are two. Here's the really hard part. There are also a whole slew of other names whose nominative personal names, masculine not names, whose nominative ends in A's, okay, and they're just inflected like stratiotes. So the genitive is stratio two and Eurypides is Eurypides, Eurypidu, and it's just uh, just like stratiotes. But Socrates is is of this stem type, like genos, genus. The dative is Socrate with an EI and the and the um, accusative is Socrate with an eta from Socratesa, okay? That the S disappearing and the epsilon and the alpha contracting into an eta. There's no plural for names, okay? Although we speak of several Demosthenes, this is Greeks to do that. <laughs> okay? Um, there is a vocative, Socrates, Socrates rather, I think. It's the accents on the first syllable, yes. Socrates is the is a weird vocative. That's a um, so, so that's a, a very small subclass of the mm -hmm. type nouns. Again, our recommendation is that you memorize them as a separate group.